actually I was perusing Instagram like I like to do in my spare time because I really love looking at everybody's pen collections. And it's not a good thing sometimes because sometimes I see people's pen collections and they actually inspire me to want to go out and buy a pen like theirs. I was scrolling through and there was one person on there and they have really good taste in pens actually. That person inspired me to go over to Karis Customs website and look for this very specific ink pen. It's, it's the ink version two pen. The reason why I had to go check it out is because it was in a color that I absolutely adore, which is Robin's Egg Blue, Tiffany Blue. So let's jump into this. This is actually my first Karis Customs pen review, by the way. And um, I do have one other Karis Customs. It's, a, it's like a copper uh, pen. It's really, it's really beautiful. It's really heavy. But this is actually my second Karis Custom. So let's dive in. It comes in this cardboard box, which I'm sure it's completely recyclable, but on the front, on the front lid, it says create with quality. And this company is located in Mesa, Arizona. I believe Penchelli is also in that, whatever, it's in that area. Let's lift up the box and first you have a sticker that comes with. I love it when these companies send stickers because I just like put them all over my notebooks, but this one's really cute. I, I think it's the guy that runs Kara's Customs. I'm so horrible with names and people, but anyways, it says it's quality, bro. And uh, I'm sure it is. So here's the pen. So it, yeah, it just comes in its own thing. And it comes like with this star or this cushiony, cushiony bed of cushion. Don't judge me. Right? How could I not go look at this pen? Beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I've never tried their ink pen before. I just, you know, it's cool because it has like the stainless steel clip. And, you know, it's, I just, I like the design. It's kind of industrial yet it's functional and it's kind of like a work of art in my opinion this is one of their special release pens so there's only 50 of them made so i've got one so that makes it 49 and then the person on instagram who has this that's 48 and then i know of someone else who also bought it because they saw my image of it on instagram so that makes it down to 47. so they're going quickish. So it's actually coated in a substance or whatever it is. I'm not really savvy with industrial types of things or design or whatever, but it's coated in something called Cerakote. And Cerakote is basically a material that is, it's painted on here and it has some flexibility and durability. And I mean, I would hope so. So I guess that means that it's not going to chip off of the pen. And so the Cerakote is over an aluminum cap and barrel. And I love that the cap and barrel, it's like flush, which you, I mean, it's just, it's actually perfectly fit together. I mean, it's really beautiful. Cerakote, it, it's also used in the automotive industries as well as, um, you know, sport products, stuff like that. Like I said, I'm not super savvy in those areas. <laughs> so, but it is very, I mean, that's, that color is just awesome. All right. Oh, look at that. I love the grip section. It's got a nice metallic contrast. You have this beautiful, it's silver aluminum grip section. And what's great about Keras Customs is you can actually, not this pen in particular, but when you get a pen from them, you can actually customize that grip section. So I know they have one, you know, it's like in copper, brass, different types of aluminums, um, you know, with different colors. So, but I, I think this is very nice. Let's see if it posts real quick. So I'm just curious. I mean, it kind of posts. I personally will not use this posted. I mean, it's not very deep. It doesn't post very deep at all, but I will probably use this unposted. 
I also chose my pen to have a 1.1 stub nib, and I know that Keras Customs, they use Bach nibs. So I'll be curious to see how this writes. It's got a plastic feed. So let's look inside. And it does come with its own converter. Oh yeah. Mm, love that. But this pen is, I mean, it's flawless. It is flawless. You can look inside there. You can see the aluminum, silver aluminum. In there. I mean, maybe you can't see it, but I can. Yeah, what a beautiful pen. And I like when it closes. It feels like it's it's sealing itself. Like, yeah, nice. The pen also came with two cartridges and what looks to be a card that they tested my nib on, which is cool. So the front here we've got Let's see here, material steel 1.1 and on the back, instead of the usual, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, we've got Sphinx of Black Quartz, judge my vow. <laughs> it sounds like a crazy line that should be in a movie here. So far, I'm very pleased with the way this pen looks, but what we need to see is how the pen writes. So let's see how the pen writes. for joining me for this look at the Keras Custom Ink in Eggshell. Did I even say what the name was earlier? It's Robin's Egg Blue, but they're calling it Light Turquoise Eggshell. Wow, that's kind of a, a big thing to leave out, isn't it? So yes, Eggshell, and there are only 50 of them made. So if you are looking to grab this pen from Keras Customs, Remember, it's extremely limited, and once they're gone, they're gone until they decide to, I mean, if they decide to make another run or make some more. I'm impressed. I thought the nib wrote really nice. It's very smooth. I love the snub nib because it also gives my handwriting that little something extra. It makes crappy handwriting look nice, and you know, that's always a plus. Let's talk price. It's actually, this pen is not as expensive as I think it should be. I think it's it's definitely, it could be easily like $200, you know, but I'm glad it's not because then I didn't have to pay that much. This pen, the MSRP is $135. I don't think that's a, a bad price at all for, for this pen. I think that's actually very nice. In fact, 
it's a little, I mean, it's quite a bit lower than some of those bespoke pens you get from, you know, different uh, people who, you know, make the pens out of their garage and stuff out of blanks and stuff. So, which, you know, that's totally different, but I mean, you know, that's a beautiful pen and I think the price is pretty good. So I believe this is only available directly through the Keras Customs website. So you can't go over to like Pen Chalet or, you know, some of these other like Goulet or anything and get this pen. So, all right. Well, that's all I have to say about that. And that's how the ink flows. Yeah.